All right then, so in the last video, we saw that we could make someone an admin by adding an email, clicking make admin. That sends a call to the callable cloud function we created to make them an admin by adding a custom claim to them. And that sets the custom claim admin to true on that user. And we get this response. It says message success. Sean of the Net Ninja has been made an admin. So whoop whoop, we've made someone an admin, but right now they can't really do anything different. So what, they're an admin, what does that mean? Well, what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to actually get that custom claim from the front end and then do something different like allow certain things or show certain things as an admin that we couldn't see if we weren't an admin. Such things as this thing right here and also the create guide thing over here. We only want admins to see these things. So the first thing we need to do is go to the index.html and we're going to scroll up to the things that we only want admins to see. Now then, what I'm going to do is apply a class of admin to those things. So this create guide link right here, currently it's a class of logged in. Now we want to make this instead admin because now it's not for logged in users, it's only for admin users, right? And it's displaying as none by default to begin with. Now, later on, when we log in, if that uses an admin, we're going to show these things. So that has a class of admin. Down here, this thing as well, this admin actions form. We also want to give this a class of admin because we're going to show this if a user is an admin when they log in as well. We also want this to be display as none by default to begin with. So that's the first step done. The next step is to check when a user has logged in if they have a custom claim of admin set to true. So to do that, we'll go to auth.js and this is where we're detecting when the auth state changes. So if a user logs in, this is the function that's going to fire. Now we only need to check if the user is an admin, if that user actually exists. If they log out, we don't need to perform any kind of check to do that. So let's perform the check here if the user exists. Now the way we perform this check and we get the claims is by using a method on the user called get ID token result. So this method is asynchronous and it's going to return a promise. So then we can attach a then method to it. And in there we get the ID token result. Okay. So from this ID token result, we can access the claims. So I could say console.log ID token results dot claims like so. So if I save this now, we should be able to see when we first fire up the application, because this is going to fire then because we're logged in, we should be able to see those claims. So let me save that. And now this is logged to the console over here. However, we don't actually see it right there. But if we were to say claims dot admin and save that, then view this, it says undefined. So we're not seeing it there because we're actually not an admin in the eyes of this um, application at the minute. So if I just refresh and then go to log out and then go to login, I'm going to sign in as Sean at the net ninja .co.uk and then test one, two, three, four. So log in and now we can see we get true. So that user is an admin. So now if we log out the claims, we should see admin is set to true. So I just had to log out, then log back in to see that updated claim right here. And now we can see that this user is an admin. Awesome. Okay then. So now we can see how to get this. What we could do is just attach this temporarily to this user while they're logged into the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say user and then add an admin property to that user is equal to ID token results dot claims dot admin. So if this exists on that user and they are an admin, then this property that we're setting on the user is going to be equal to true now. If it doesn't exist, then it's going to be null, okay, or undefined. So now we've attached that user property to the user. When we're actually rendering the UI, then we should see that admin property. But in order for this to work, what we're going to have to do is set up the UI right here once this has been done. So let us do that, save this file, and then go to our setup UI function. So inside that index file over here, we can see this setup UI function. 
and we're checking if the user exists and we're doing all of this stuff. Now in here also, we also want to check if the admin property exists on the user, if that's true. And if that is the case, we want to show those admin elements, the things with an admin class. So first of all, what I'll do is get a reference to those things over here. I'm going to say const admin items is equal to documents dot query selector all because there's a couple of them and anything with a class of admin. OK, so we're getting a reference to those. Now inside here, what I'm going to do is say if user dot admin and if this is true, if the user is an admin, what I want to do is get the admin items and say for each to cycle through them. And for each item, we want to get the item, set the style display property equal to block. So we're going to show those if that user is an admin. Does that make sense? And down here, when they are logged out, we want to hide these things again. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to paste it down here as well. So inside the else statement, and this time we want to set that equal to none. So let's do that. OK, then. So I also would like to output here if that user is an admin. So let's do one little check here, div like so. And then we're going to output in curly braces and dollar sign a little check. First of all, user dot admin question mark. This is a ternary operator. I'll explain this in a second and otherwise we'll output an empty string close the div. OK, so what is this doing? Well, right here, we're evaluating this thing, right? If this is true, then the first thing after the question mark is going to be output inside this div. If this evaluates to false, then the second thing after the question mark after the colon is going to be output instead. So if this is true and the user is an admin, what we're doing is adding a third div essentially with the string admin so that they can see they are an admin. All right, we'll also give this a class of pink text. So it's a bit different. So we're showing the admin items and we're also adding this to the account pop up if they are an admin. When they log out again, it's going to hide all of the admin items as well. And it's also resetting the account details in our HTML. So we don't need to worry about this being there anymore. OK, then. So let's save this, cross our fingers and hope this works. So now we can see create guide, which is good. If we go to account, we can see that I am an admin and we can also see this thing right here. Now, if I log out and log in as someone else who is not an admin, so Yoshi at the net ninja dot UK, have I spelled that correctly? No. And then test one, two, three, four, log in as that person. Now I can't see this admin panel. I can't see in the account that I'm an admin and I don't see the create guide. So now we're showing a different UI to users who are not admins than to those who are admins. OK, now one more thing. If I log in again as Sean at the net ninja dot UK and test one, two, three, four. What I'm going to do is make Yoshi an admin. So Yoshi at the net ninja dot UK. I'm going to make that person an admin. Let's see if we get that response that we want. Success. OK, so we've made that person an admin now. Now, if I log out and log back in as Yoshi, hopefully this time around, Yoshi will see that he is an admin. So Yoshi at the net ninja dot UK and test one, two, three, four, log in. And now we can see this panel. We can also see that I'm an admin and we can also create guides. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can use custom claims on the front end. We get those claims to see if they are an admin and then we can show the user a different UI if they are an admin. So all this is well and good. However, at the minute, it's not really securing the data. If a user who was a non admin logged in, all they would have to do is inspect the element and show the create guide link and then add a guide. And we don't have the Firestore rules over here to stop them doing that. OK, so what we need to do in the next video is address that and make sure that only users who have the admin claim of true can actually add data.